Good morning, everyone. So today, I have a little bit of a change here, and I'm going to talk about this book that I have, Make Your Bed, and talk about this speech. Um, so several years ago, I saw this YouTube video, and it was the Admiral William H. McRaven, and he was making a commencement speech for the graduating class of 2014 at the University of Texas. Recently, I came across the speech again, and it inspired me to go look for the book that he also wrote, because it came across that he had written a book. So, but since the first time I had seen the speech, I started thinking of what he had said, and he talked about one small task. Do one small task a day, starting out with making your bed, and then you feel like you've accomplished something. So it got me so that it's like, okay, I feel accomplished. I've made my bed. Even after a tough day, I come home. I have that nice bed being made that just feels good, that I know I did something in my day. So it's that sense of accomplishment that you get. Even though it's a small task, all the small tasks build up. So when I got the book, it was hard for me to actually put it down. I just kept reading and reading, and it was just very motivational within his book. Um, I did look up. You can get it through Amazon, Barnes & Noble. I checked the St. Clair County Library. Every branch has a copy of this book. So you can always check it out. I know they're starting to do some curbside uh, service there. I'm not sure how all that works, but you could check it out from there. Call them up, find out. Um, he also has this other little thing. It's this daily journal that he um, had put out and I'll go through this a little bit here so what he says in here is that you can just write down for January 1st write down one small task you want to complete for your day so you write down that task and then for January 2nd something else and you just keep on going through the full year so if you wanted to do something you could get that book write it down you can get just a regular spiral and write something down in a spiral or some kind of a journal that you want or use and write down that task that you want to try and achieve and did you achieve it. Um, so that is kind of a neat little thing that he has there. So I'm going to share some of the pages I have marked. I don't know if you can see all of my little tabs here. I've got lots of highlighting in here. So I also looked up his quotes and one of the neat things was if you make your bread every morning, you have accomplished the first task of the day. It gives you a small sense of pride and will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. So I encourage you to watch his speech that I'm going to tag here for you. But he does talk about that, about being proud of finishing that one task. He talks about how he was one of the people that was right there when Saddam Hussein was taken and how Saddam just kind of, he got the impression that he felt entitled, um, that Saddam felt entitled because he didn't make his bed. They were always crumpled, his sheets, and, you know, it was just kind of, it's neat the way he talked about it in here and just how he felt like he had accomplished something because he did his own thing. He took care of himself where this other person, Saddam Hussein, expected other people to do everything for him. Um, and he talks about determination and grit are always more important than talent. So talked about not giving up, keep going forward, keep trying, keep don't give up is a big thing. And he says it's easy to blame a lot of your life on some outside force to stop trying because you believe fate is against you. It's easy to think that you were raised how your parents treated you or what school you went to is all that determines your future. Nothing could be further from the truth. The common people and the great men and women are all defined by how they deal with life's unfairness. Examples he puts in here, Helen Keller, Nelson Mandela, Stephen Hawking, Malala, I can't remember how to spell it, pronounce her last name, but Malala, who was shot in the face because she was a girl that wanted to go to school, and the men in the country didn't want her to go. I believe it was in Pakistan. Um, I could be wrong on that country, but I know it was in that vicinity. 
and he talks about Moki Martin, which he talk, he explains who Moki Martin is, somebody he knew in here. And in, the last thing he says in here is, sometimes no matter how hard you try, no matter how good you are, you still end up as a sugar cookie. And he will explain in here what a sugar cookie is, where he, during his Navy SEAL training, he had to roll around in the sand and get sand everywhere. And that's what they called a sugar cookie. He says, don't complain. Don't blame it on your misfortune. Stand tall, look to the future, and drive on. Um, another thing he says in here, life is a struggle and the potential for failure is ever present. But those who live in fear of failure or hardship or embarrassment will never achieve their potential. Without pushing your limits, without occasionally sliding down the rope head first, without daring grit greatly, you will never know what is truly possible in your life. So I do recommend that you try and check this out, look up his stuff, watch his video. I have the video, I will put the link in here. It is a 19 minute speech, but he goes through everything that he does cover in this book, um, little surface of it, but it is very inspirational. So I'm hoping that will help some of you. Maybe you can get that one task, whatever that task is, whether it's working on your schoolwork, whether it's something at home or something personal to you, you get that one task done, then try another task, then try another task and see how many you can actually complete in your day. So again, um, Watch the speech and try to challenge yourself to complete something. You know, no matter how little it might seem, it actually all adds up. So I hope everybody is enjoying the nice weather that we're having. And I'll see you next time.